good evening to all today we are taking one other topic which is related to the process of plant and uh, application wise how turbot spender is you know treated with the process whether it is a pre boost arrangement or post boost arrangement so let's understand what is a pre boost arrangement for turbo expander and post boost arrangement for turbo expander this is a plant process plant which has many machines pipings valves jt valves turbo expanders so this is complete process plant and this is a jt valve you can see this is a joule thomson valves or short it is called jt valve in turbo expander you can see this is turbo expander this is a expander side and another side is a compressor so this is turbo expander inlet this is turbo expander outlet this is compressor inlet and compressor outlet this is a basic uh, path of turbo expander now what is pre boost expander compressor turbo expander is also called expander so turbo expander or expander compressor in p boost arrangement you can see this can be explained in two cases when machine is not running and plant is running on jt mode of course we know that first of all we have to start the plant with the jt mode without starting turbo expander so first plant is started on jt mode once plant is st stabilized and required differential pressure across the jt is achieved then we start the machine or turbo expander compressor and then slowly plant is load is transfer from jt to turbo expander so this is arrangement so this this is case for pre boost expander compressor arrangement and this is a case number 1 let's say when plant is running on jt mode and expander compressor machine this is enc stands for expander and compressor machine which is is stopped condition so what happens to this this is pre boost uh, machine so this is a gas which is coming here comes this side okay comes to first gas to gas exchange which is cooled by another gas here then comes to expander inlet separator where liquid is collected here and then comes to here since plant is running on jt mode so these valves are isolated so there is a expansion of the process in jt valve you will get low pressure low temperature here so a gas comes to cold separator where liquid is again collected this is the main process liquid which is collected here and then lean gas which is coming here and comes to gas to gas exchanger and finally goes to the plant this is case when jt valve is and plant is running only in jt valve and compressor expander expander is not running now look at the case 2 this is again pre boost arrangement but now turbo expander compressor is running and jt valve is fully closed so gas will first come to compressor and high pressure becomes through the compressor compressor raises the pressure of the gas first that is why it is called pre boost and then comes here gas to gas exchanger where it is cooled by another gas and after cooling it comes to expander inlet separator where liquid is collected and then comes to this side now we are discussing about when machine is running that may jt valve is closed so gas comes to expander side there is expansion of the gas so low pressure low temperature gas comes here it has a liquid so liquid is collected here and again lean gas comes here which is it has a low temperature and that is why this is used for cooling 
the incoming gas this gas in gas to gas exchanger and finally it goes to process so this is a pre boost arrangement for uh, pre boost uh, arrangement for uh, turbo expander compressor but look at mole weight of gas this compressor is more than mole weight of this exp expander because there is a recovery of liquid and that is why mole weight of its compressor is higher than mole weight of gas which is fed into expander this is all about the pre boost expander compressor arrangement now coming to post boost expander compressor post boost means compressions of gas after the expansion that is why it is name is says post boost so same way uh, the already the first time you have to run the machine uh, you have to run the plant on the gt mode and then slowly you have to start the machine on the expander so let's say i have to two cases case number 1 when plant is running on gt mode and machine is just isolated at expander compressor is isolated and now the gas come let's understand how the gas you know flows in post boost uh, system so gas comes from plant and comes to gas to gas exchangers which is cooled by another gas which is here and comes to expander inlet separator where liquid is collected then it goes to gt valve because we are discussing that plant is running on gt valve so machine is isolated with the valves and there is expansion of the gas in the gt valve so you will see low pressure low temperature and it comes to the cold separator where liquid is recovered again this is the main production of the plant and then low pressure sorry low mole weight uh, gas or lean gas which is coming to this and it has low temperature also that is why this gas is used to cool down the upcoming gas from the plant and then comes to this side this machine is isolated so it will not go to machine it will bypass this machine and go bypassing the machine and goes to the plant process so this is case of post boost when the plant is running on gt mode now the same case when uh, machine is running and gt valve is closed so what will be the flow path for post boost expander compressor so again gas comes to gas to gas exchanger where gas is cooled and comes to expander inlet separator where liquid is recovered and then it goes to turbo expander where there is expansion of the gas low pressure low temperature comes to the cold separator where liquid is collected here and lean gas comes here and it has also low temperature and it is why this gas is used to cool the this gas and finally comes to this this side because moment x compressor starts rotating there is a high pressure on this charge side so gas cannot follow this path so all the gas is coming to compressor suction and that is why moment you start the machine you will see there is a higher inlet pressure of compressor and when machine is loaded the speed is up to the design the suction pressure comes to the design inlet condition so this is how then compressor discharges it raises the pressure and then finally goes to the plant so this is how arrangement this is this is uh, arrangement for the post boost for expander compressor when the expander is running so i hope you have enjoyed this session for uh, pre boost arrangement and post boost arrangement when there are two cases for each when machine plant is running on gt mode and when plant is running on turbo expander compressor hope you enjoy this thank you thank you for watching and see you in the next video